Welcome to Bold Guy DIY. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install and use the AutoPy to EXE module in Python in order to create executable files of your Python scripts so that you can run them on computers that don't even have Python installed. Recently, I created a couple of different graphical user interfaces or GUIs using the PySimple GUI module that I've shown in other videos. However, in this case, I wanted to be able to share those GUIs with other users who don't necessarily know how to use Python or don't even have it installed on their computer. So I started looking for different modules that were available to convert Python scripts into executable files. And even though the PySimple GUI website does actually have some suggestions, I found instead a video by another YouTuber which showed how to use the AutoPy to EXE module and that looks much easier. And just like PySimple GUI itself, it is graphical based, which I always enjoy using better than the text-based or command line type scripts. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install and get AutoPy to EXE running and show you how to turn a basic GUI that I've created into an executable file that can be used on all kinds of Windows computers. So without further ado, let's jump into it. If you want to find out more about AutoPy to EXE, of course you can Google it and find the PyPy.org website where you can find tons of information about how to install it, screenshots, and of course documentation of how the actual module works. But let me show you the basics of installing it. Of course, just a regular pip3 install auto-py-2-exe and then let it run. It does take quite a bit. There's an amazing amount of different packages and things that need to be installed in order for it to work. But after a couple of minutes, you'll find that it has completed successfully and you should get a nice message at the end confirming that it has been installed. Once it's installed, depending on the path, you could try to use just the auto-py-2-exe command. But as you can see here on my particular installation, it doesn't find it. Other installations I've used where the path was set up differently. It did work fine. So that's something to think about. But here's the answer. If it doesn't work, it's add the Python executable in front and dash M and then auto underscore pi underscore two underscore exe. And that should work great. Here's a quick snapshot of what it should look like when it loads. But first I wanted to show you quickly the Python script that I'm working with. This is a Py simple GUI interface, as I mentioned. And as you can see here, it's a little PDF merger program in which you can add individual PDF files, choose a destination folder, choose the name of the new file, and then click Create PDF, which will merge them all together into a single PDF document. In order to turn it into an executable file, we're gonna launch the AutoPy to EXE, and then we're gonna browse to the file that we want to convert. And once we've done that, we wanna choose either one directory or one file, depending on the complexity of your script. And if you have additional files that don't fit into an EXE, such as other images or videos or different kind of media, you may wanna use one directory. I'm using one single file and you can choose whether the console or terminal window is gonna be displayed. You can also add an icon to it, which is really cool. And you can create an icon file simply by starting with a PNG file and then converting it to an icon using an online conversion software. You can change a bunch of other settings, but for this, all I need to do was click the convert pi to exe and then let it run. It's really incredible when you see how many different things have to be checked and consolidated and brought in together from all of the different packages that you've imported. This is actually a fairly simple script, but it's amazing how many different modules are being loaded and different things that are being copied and prepared for the exe file. And it just let it run. There are some things that it might say it can't find or can't use, but that's because it's doing checks, not because it's missing things that are gonna show up in your end result. At the end, as long as it says that it was successful, you should have a working executable file that functions pretty much exactly the same as your original Python script. As you can see at the very end, it says complete. And now we can click on open output folder and see if it really works. After opening the executable file, let me show you how it works. As I mentioned before, you click on add file, you choose the files that you want. And my screen recording software is not capturing the actual browse function, but I am choosing the files behind the scenes and then choosing here the destination folder and creating PDF. And it creates the PDF file exactly as it was supposed to. It's really that simple a few steps to get it going, but it does all the heavy lifting. And then in the end, it's just finished. It really is incredibly easy. So there you can see, it's really quite straightforward. The interface is beautiful, easy to use and uncluttered, and it does the trick perfectly. So what would you use this module to create? And what kind of scripts do you have that would run better as executable files? Let me know in the comments or send me an email. My information's in the description below. 
If you like this kind of content, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I post new content every week. I love to see new subscribers, not just because the numbers go up, but because I know I'm helping more people. I've been really busy lately creating all sorts of different kind of graphical interfaces for escape room puzzles and working like crazy to develop a new scenario for our escape room business. But I wanna keep posting videos because I love sharing the things that I make and also helping people in the problems they encounter. So until next time, in all your DIY projects, whether they depend on others or stand alone, don't be afraid to be balder.